In today's video, we're gonna show you how we made our automatic chicken water. So what you're gonna to need to make the automatic water, you're gonna need a pack of poultry saddle style watering nipples. I'll put a link below in the description. I got these off of Amazon, so I'll leave that link down below. You're gonna need a five foot section of three quarter inch pipe, an end cap, and a cap with half inch pipe thread in it. What works for me, the length I need is about 20 feet of 3 8 hose. Then you're going to need two 3 8 hose bob with half inch pipe threads on the end. You're going to need a 5 gallon bucket. You're going to need a 5 16 drill bit. You're going to need a half inch spade paddle drill bit, a drill, <clears throat> some sort of hammer, a wrench, some PVC glue, and cleaner. And then I always have use a little bit of silicone. All right, so we're going to be using six of these. Ten come in a pack. I'm going to go ahead and take them apart. You just twist them and pull. I'll twist them and you pull them apart. Oh, Daddy, is that one? Yep. I know. All the other ones yesterday were yellow. Daddy, you're going to make it right easier. Then you gotta take your drill with a 516 drill bit on it. Instead of having to draw a line, I just use the red lettering and drill on that to keep them pretty straight. I just try to evenly space them out. I don't measure. The chickens don't need them to be perfect. You wanna be careful once you go through it to stop. You don't wanna drill through the other side. Now depending on how many birds you have, you can make it longer or shorter, or you could leave have five feet and add more nipples in. They say 10 water nipples will do 30 turkeys or 40 chickens. So then these have a like a 45 degree angle on them. Just try to make sure they're always going the same way. You can also go by this little notch right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the saddle on, get it started, and tap it with a hammer. And then you just wanna go ahead and make sure it's seated good around the edges. Put them in, push them down all the way, and then turn it and lock it. <clears throat> now push down. need to clean the fitting ends and the pipe ends. Nope, I have to get on the 
the outside oh. where you're going to be putting the glue. So you clean it up enough. Hold one end. That's just trying to go. Good job. Did not get it wet? Daddy, that's you. <laughs> get it on the other side. You don't want it on you? No, <laughs> never. That's silly. Now while you're letting this dry, we'll do the next step. Then you're gonna need your five gallon bucket, your half inch flat paddle a little bit. What I try to do is I see where the handle is, visually draw a straight line, which is here on my bucket, there's a mark. I'm just gonna go down to the bottom. And then drill a hole. Then we're gonna take one of our barbs. Right. Wait, how many barbs do we have? It's just half inch pipe thread, three eighths inside diameter hose. We're gonna take our barb. Take some of the, the caulking or silicone, whatever you have. You don't need a lot, just really don't need it. It's just, just in case you need it for like a thread tape. This pot's a little messy, so you want to have a rag. <clears throat> Which I did. <laughs> I just go ahead and I run a bead around it afterwards. And on the inside. Then you're gonna take your second 3 8 inch hose bar. And you're gonna need some thread sail tape. When you put the thread sail tape on, you wanna make sure you go clockwise. If you don't, when you go to tighten it up, it'll take the tape off of the thread. It's in a bucket. And the bucket's not threaded for this. So it's kind of making it work. But if you do that, you don't have to worry about it dripping. What you're gonna end up doing is having, you're gonna mount this in your coop like this. You're gonna have your bucket higher than the water. You'll have your bucket full. You'll have a hose connecting the two. I'll have a video and I'll show you the setup that we're gonna make in our chicken tractor with this. But this is how you build the automatic water itself. And then you have five gallons of water. <laughs> what is nice about that is you can have water for a couple of days. You don't have to worry about lugging water out every day. And the way I have it set up in our chicken tractor, you don't have to go inside to have the water, which is really nice. Thanks for watching. So thanks guys for watching. We hope you liked the video. We hope it was helpful for you. We hope it explained it to you a little bit better. Have